inheritance can also be used in the Zool project uh, to solve an exercise uh, for creating a, a transported room uh, that um, uh, transfers to a new to a different random room uh, when uh, someone uh, enters this room or leaves it. In this case, uh, it will be uh, built in the way that uh, when uh, someone uh, exits the room, uh, the, uh, a random room uh, will be chosen. Uh, so to do this, there are uh, different solutions. Uh, but uh, each one of them uh, has uh, um, some um, some particular aspects uh, in terms of uh, design, and uh, so th 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 there are uh, some some solutions that uh, have a bad design and uh, are not. Uh, so preferable. Uh, one straightforward solution would be to uh, change the command in the game class uh, in the method uh, go room uh, in order to account for this uh, um, uh, for this uh, transported room. Uh, so in that part. Uh, of the code, uh, there is um, this uh, statement uh, that um, has to be changed uh, and an if statement should be introduced um, uh, so that uh, um, when uh, the name of the um, of the room is uh, matches the uh, name of the transporter room uh, a, a random room will be chosen so it can be done in a straightforward way like this mm. And um, when the get random room uh, method uh, is implemented, uh, then uh, this solution will work. Uh, but there are uh, several drawbacks uh, about uh, uh, the design of this solution because uh, it um, uh, makes maintainability uh, difficult uh, because there is a check. Uh, done with uh, a, a text string uh, and this uh, uh, is um, uh, not recommended because uh, the name uh, of the room can change uh, if it gets translated into another language. Uh, so another solution would be to uh, use um, a variable that stores an instance of the uh, transporter room object uh, so uh, it will be uh, checked 
uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the actual uh, object uh, that is a transport room. It's um, it's just a reference. Um, in this way, if we assume there is this transporter room. Uh, variable uh, the solution will work uh, but uh, there is still some there are still some problems uh, with uh, um, maintainability and changes uh, and uh, for example if uh, a more than one transporter room uh, is created then um, uh, multiple um, of these multiple variables should be um, added for each of these uh, um, transporter rooms uh, or put in or taken uh, be put in an array uh, that stores these objects um, and uh, there has to be a check for uh, each of these transporter rooms uh, in the go room that need to be added into this method. So the uh, game class needs to be changed while uh, with the previous design, uh, nothing in, in go room uh, ha had to be changed. Uh, when uh, uh, creating the uh, plan for uh, the, the rooms. Uh, uh, the solution, solution would be, be then to, to uh, add a method uh, that uh, signals uh, if the room is a transported room, so it will be added in the uh, room class uh, so that uh, the room class itself uh, ha is the only one that has to remember uh, if the room is a transporter room uh, and uh, it's not anymore a responsibility of the uh, game class. But also this solution uh, has um, uh, problems in uh, design because um, only uh, some of the, these uh, uh, rooms will be transported rooms. Uh, just a few of them will be transported rooms. Uh, so it is, uh, this method is, is transported room. Uh, is uh, um, a special special case uh, code uh, which signals that uh, the class design uh, is weak. Uh, also, uh, if um, there is a need to create uh, different kinds of transporter room. Uh, th each of these different kinds uh, sh should have a, their own flag and their own check in the GoRoom uh, method. Uh, so uh, the better solution would be uh, to use inheritance that will override 
uh, the room class uh, methods uh, and um, create a subclass uh, th that is transported room uh, for it. And in this way, uh, a, a game, the game class can be left unchanged and also the, um, the uh, room class also uh, is left unchanged uh, and this is the elegance of the solution uh, with inheritance uh, so uh, it will look like this Uh, 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 this method uh, which uh, Hmm. a problem. Hmm. 
resistance. Okay, so I need to add the uh, constructor in this. Was it like this? The constructor is with the string. You have straight off him. Okay, he needs this string. So, I don't know that it needs to be put in here. Oh no, this is description. What about direction? This is description. Oh no, it just needs description. Okay, for now. Okay, so this is how.
is how the solution will look like. This is how the solution will look like. So now discussing about if inheritance can be made uh, with a class player and a class monster, I think that it can be done because uh, they are both different characters, so they will have some uh, common uh, fields and methods uh, to have a name, to move, uh, that they will have some common fields and methods, so uh, it is uh, good to have a, sub a super class for them, uh, like character. Um, then for uh, an item and uh, 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 character at uh, inheritance uh, relationship between them um, uh, doesn't seem to have any benefit because there there will be not many fields and methods. Uh, that are shared between these two uh, classes, uh, the, the character and the item. Uh, because, for example, the item uh, is present in a room and cannot move, while the character can move. And it's not a good idea to... to use uh, inheritance in this case. So now with this uh, with this uh, uh, transporter room uh, subclass uh, the game class doesn't have to uh, know anything about this subclass. Uh, it just uses the room superclass. Uh, so whenever this transporter room is needed, uh, game uh, the game class uh, will use it uh, uh, and uh, with only the knowledge that it is a room, uh, that it belongs to the classroom, but uh, internally it works uh, like a transporter room. <laughs> 